Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about using permethrin cream for the treatment of scabies. Um, if you have scabies right now, my goal is to help you decide to take action to get this treatment done as soon as possible so you can get over this whole thing and avoid spreading the mites to other people because it sucks to spread it to other people. I did it, and you don't want to be there. Um, anyway, so you may already have some cream, and you're just looking for tips before you use it, um, or you're deciding whether you want to get some and ha figure out how to get it and all that. Um, so either way... Let's just cover some information about the cream. So, okay, so why is permethrin cream used to treat scabies? Uh, is it really a good approach for your treatment? So, it's been long known that permethrin cream is effective for treating scabies and has been used successfully by a lot of people. Um, there's a ton of studies and articles published on PubMed, I've read a lot of them, um, that support the effectiveness of the cream, and I used it myself, and it worked for me, so... If you're on the fence about using permethrin, I highly recommend you just get the cream and do it. Um, it won't hurt you, and without it, you're likely to stay infested for a long period of time, which sucks. Um, so, Now, permethrin cream is so effective because it directly stops scabies mites' nervous systems from working, which by basically causing their bodies to just stop functioning by disabling that entire nervous system. Um, so while permethrin is toxic to insects, it's much less so for humans. Uh, we humans metabolize permethrin and it clears out of our bodies very quickly without causing harm. I think it, it lasts like four hours in our system and it doesn't really affect us that much and it just passes right through. For them, it just, any exposure to the little bugs and they're dead. So anyway, so when you rub the cream, it spreads to the scabies burrows, killing live mites and many of the eggs. Uh, sometimes the eggs can survive, but that's why we do at least two treatments to kill off any new ones that may have hatched since our last treatment. So, so, okay, so next we'll look at how to properly use the cream. This is super important. Um, you really want to be sure you're doing this right, because if you don't do it right, you run the risk of having some mites left alive, and they'll just reinfest your whole body. So, you, I mean, you might feel some relief from the initial treatment, but you'll soon just get fully infested, and you'll it'll be miserable, because you don't want to keep having this. It's going to be suck. So be very aware of when you apply the cream that you cover your entire body from head to toe. Um, massage the cream into your skin. Make sure that you're not missing any little crevices or hard to reach places. Um, have someone help you if you need. So like if you have to get your back and you can't reach it. Um, apply the cream to cool dry skin. Leave it on for 8 to 14 hours. Um, that's important. And once you wash it off, uh, put on fresh clothes and be sure that any clothing, bedding, or surfaces you touch after treatment have been thoroughly disinfected because you don't want to pick them up again right after you just killed all the ones on you. So apply the cream every seven days until the infestation is gone. Uh, two treatments is enough in most cases. Okay, so okay, so now that we have the application down, let's talk about getting the cream, how to get it. Uh, the easiest option might be to just get a prescription from your doctor. You'll go, to the, uh, you'll go get a prescription from your doctor, you'll go pick up the medication from the pharmacy, and you're ready to go. Um, while this is often the easiest route, uh, it might not be the best, because if you're low on funds and want to treat yourself inexpensively, then this route won't be the cheapest. With the doctor's appointment and the Rx prescription, it's going to cost you over $100. Um, that's just how it is. Um, and also, many doctors are reluctant to diagnose scabies in the, to begin with. It took me a while to find one that was willing to admit that I did have scabies, that had eczema and all this stuff, but I was just going on being infested and there's nothing I could do about it. So if your doctor won't write you a prescription from permethrin, you're going to have a hard time getting it. Um, I had to deal with that. It sucked. So the second option is to buy the cream over the counter. This kind of bypasses those uh, the doctor whole doctor issue. You can get the same type of cream you'd get from the pharmacy over the counter. Um, there's a link in the description of this video to a page um, on my website, the Life Without Scabies website, that explains how to pick up uh, the topical 5% permethrin cream online without having to get a prescription from your doctor. So there's a third option for getting the cream, and that's if you buy raw materials. Um, you can mix up your own. Um, this is best if you have a lot of people, or a lot of people like a whole family that's infested, and you can buy a bulk cream and mix it up and get lots of applications. So you'll need to buy concentrated 10% cream um, and just get some standard lotion like Jergens and then mix it all up. And uh, you'll have to measure out exact measurements, but this is a really efficient way to get a lot of permethrin cream to use uh, pretty cheaply. Okay, so. So that's it for the video, um, uh, just description on how to use permethrin. Uh, if you have any questions about buying or using the cream, leave a comment, and I'll definitely get back to you, um, give you some clarification if you have any issues. So, and I, w I also want to end by saying um, that this knowledge might not be enough to get you free of scabies completely, because you have to do a good job of cleaning your environment as well, and you might want to take additional treatments like ivermectin uh, simultaneously with permethrin. Those two work synergistically. Ivermectin you uh, consume internally, and it works from the inside, 
permethrin kind of comes in from the outside, so they work together and they do a really good job of getting rid of all the mites. If you also do a good good job of cleaning your environment, so um, that's how I that's what I did. I used both and it worked very well for me. I'm happy to be done with <laughs> done with the mites. So um, for more information on scabies treatment, um, visit the site. I'll have a link below lifewithoutscabies.com. I'll leave a link in the description, you know, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to the main post I have. Um, it's just a, a long post on how to eradicate scabies. It's got three steps. Um, it covers cleaning your environment, taking medication, and then doing what you can after you take a medication to make sure you don't get reinfested. So thanks for taking a look at this video, and best of luck in your cure. Take care.